why does the United States even have to pay attention to what the Taliban wants? It's an SDGT. It's sanctioned by many organizations. It's already losing access to Afghan government resources because of its past and current behavior. Why should the United States even care what the Taliban wants to be done at the airport or frankly anywhere else in the country since they are not, in the U.S.'s eyes, a legally recognized government? Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Our focus right now is on getting our citizens and getting other, our partners, uh, Afghan partners, um, third country partners who've been working in Afghanistan with us, uh, out of the country into safety. And for that purpose, first, uh, the, the Taliban, whether we like it or not, is in control, largely in control of the country, certainly in control of, uh, of the city of Kabul. Um, and it's been important to uh, work with them to try to uh, facilitate and ensure the departure of all those who want to leave. Uh, and that has actually uh, been something that uh, we've been, been focused on for, um, uh, from the beginning of this operation because, as a practical matter, uh, it advances our interests. Uh, second, we've been engaged with the Taliban uh, for some time diplomatically, going back years in efforts, as you know, to try to advance a peaceful settlement of, uh, of the conflict in, in Afghanistan. Uh, there are still talks and conversations underway even now between uh, the Taliban and uh, former members of the, the Afghan government uh, with regard, for example, to a transfer of, uh, of power uh, and some inclusivity in a, in a future government. Uh, and I think it's in our interest um, where, where possible to, uh, to support uh, those efforts. Going forward, uh, we will judge our engagement with any uh, Taliban-led government in Afghanistan based on uh, one simple proposition our interests, and does it help us advance them uh, or not? 